All right, trying one more thing. Okay. Am I am I on? Is this really happening? Hmm. Well, normally, oh, sorry, that might have been really loud. Normally, I would have gotten the low bandwidth warning by now, so if I haven't, maybe that's a good sign. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm a little in disbelief. Trying not to feel like it's about to go out at any time. But I will get started here and we're just going to act like everything's okay. I have to, you know, tweet about it. That's the important thing to do. Right. There we go. All right. Screw everything else. I'm gonna play. I'm excited. Would you like to play in master mode? <gasps> yes. Yes, I would. I will mess with the mic a little bit, Andrew. This is so weird. Play in normal mode. Yes. Yes. Great intro. Traveled into the light, into the light. Open your eyes. Yes, ma'am. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Well, why'd you have to drain it? Here I was, resting comfortably in my little pool. Oh man, soon I'm gonna actually be playing. Oh really? The audio? No, the audio issue. That sucks. Hmm. <laughs> Underwear lane. Who I think should be in the next one? That night. is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Let's 
Sounds like I should just rip the mic out. if the mic is better or worse now. Well, I get some stuff. Okay, I remember how to throw things. That's good. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Oh man. This is a scary part. upon high rule once again now go here we go oh yeah no paraglider a parasail whatever. You don't think I should do like a full naked run? Could use some arm. I'm not sure what good it'll do. But tree branch. That's good. Okay. Also good. <laughs> Gotta get mushrooms. You know what? I was at this point. I don't think do make a difference. So let's naked run it for a while. I keep having these little urges to like jump off cliffs and stuff. I have to remember I can't do that yet. <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta love those guys. Who are you? Hmm. An old fool. Hmm. I don't really have an option to answer anything else. Last time I'll check, but is the audio any better at all now? Don't tell anyone, but I just need a new mic is what I need. Okay, I will let you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was meant to the table. Yes, I'm saving. Master mode in the 
threatening red letters. Okay, we got an X. Cool. cool. Alright, back off. That rock. So, get some fish. I just want to get that sword. Then we'll go to the temple. But I'm already thinking about the one that'll be awaiting me there. Not sure if the cobbling is the right pronunciation, but hey, Link is a strong boy. Voices. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. Where is the Korok around here? Am I gonna get yelled at skipping all the Koroks? I'm gonna skip so many Koroks just for you, Andrew. Just for you. Okay, there. I used it. I'm so scared. Do I want the sword? Nah. I'm gonna save again. Ha ha ha. Questioning myself on what I want to do. It's been a while. Gonna grab some screws. Build me a something. <laughs> Thanks, Vader. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. You know what? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it! You go down, Bluey! Ah. Alright! One enemy down. Oh well, just someone who's watching right now is also texting me. That is fun. Okay, having a bow early, that seems like a good thing. So I traded the sword for the bow. I'm okay with that. Breaking pots is a tradition. <laughs> All the games. Thank you, game, for telling me about the stamina wheel. Okay. Um, so far, so good, right? Okay, well, that was fun. I'm going to stop. 
See you guys later. Just kidding. We're gonna keep playing. I have like a couple hours to myself, which is really exciting for me. <laughs> so Zelda games often have strong openings. Like I think to Majora's Mask and the other world, the area you can't visit ever again. It's a, it's a fun thing with Zelda games. Um, I think we got a little lucky with that first fight. I don't want to go looking for too many more fights like that one. Oh, as I, okay, yep, that was very silly self-fulfilling prophecy. Yes, Vader, this is it. This is me very first attempting the harder difficulty. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that's great. Huh. <laughs> that's not going to work at all. So today's question is, can Naked Link outrun the... I don't know how to pronounce these things, guys. Oh my gosh! I almost didn't make that jump. Am I gonna die? Is that really what's about to happen? <laughs> He's totally not gonna notice me. Nope. Not gonna... I could go play down there. I mean, I'm just gonna avoid the line altogether. Let's go full, like, quest mode. No need to tempt fate. Not today, anyway. Oh yes, the new floating stuff. That's fun. This uh, smaller stamina wheel will take some getting used to. Well, well, what is this? Okay, if you say so. Atticus, the short answer is yes. Yes, you can. Just not yet. <laughs> Squirrels and birds. Oh wow, that's interesting. Because that red bacoblin shot isn't really accurate anymore, is it? <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Hi. I can't just parasail down either, can I? Hmm. Hmm. It's nice to see orange towers again to activate them. Well, look at that.
So here's a fun self-consciousness. I have terrible sense of direction. So be prepared to be frustrated at my forgetting where everything is whatsoever. <laughs> Regains its true power. This world will face its end. Okay, if the beast re its power in the castle, everything will end. It sounds like we need someone to hunt the beast. It sounds like we need to kill the beast. You must hurry, Lady. That was a guess on this. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. Okay, I haven't died yet. I've been a little surprised. But I might be about to. Can I take this fall? Uh, probably not from the very top. How about from here? Okay. <laughs> that was close. I am so much better at this than when I first played. I'm pretty sure this was my first death, the first time I played. It's falling off this thing. Woohoo! Valley, this is a very pretty game. <clears throat> oh, I see a shrine from here. Uh, it was kind of familiar, like in a distant way. Oh. Yes, that atrocity. I do. I intend to go to the castle and kill the beast. Shout out to the concept of the Great Plateau. I'm not going to say hand it over. That's so rude. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'll trade it for a bit of treasure, huh? Okay. Huh. What are you going to show me? If we get attacked on the way on this little walk of ours, I'd be so ticked. Was oh, this it? This is what you want to show me? Is this four steps over here? Is this hiking path from one rock to another? Yes, I see it. Oh, we <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't want to attract too much attention on the way. But I do want to get to that shrine. Really? No screw for me? There it is. Gotta collect all the screws. That's really why I play the game. You could call me a screwball. I think I can make it. 
Ooh, stamina. Alright, let's play a game of Eric Tries a Shrine. Ooh, Magnesis. Oh, hello. Oh, cool. Right. Screwing everything up. in there. It's more of a tablet than a cell phone. And wow, that red top order. That is intense. <laughs> that red loading is what it's... Wow. Yeah, that loading screen is really, that's... To anyone who hasn't played, it's hard to express how jarring that is from the usual black and white. You know, I'm a huge fan of using the bomb rune for combat. I'm thinking in hard mode it'll be good to actually get a little better and a little using the other ones. So we'll see how that goes. Right. Knock it all down. Hmm, a guardian. With this what have I done? What have I done? Uh. 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 This might take a minute. Another bow, that's good. Valerie, I am so excited for you to see a lot of this stuff for the first time.
So just a little heads up. But this uh this little orb that's about to appear might be my favorite visual in the entire game, and the reason I don't skip this sequence. good stuff. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not alone, because it's just, it's just... You can tell they put the extra effort into that little sphere to show you how good stuff can look. I don't know. I just like it. <coughs> good to see you, Phoenix. Man, that red is so intense. Zelda rocks. I'm not going to make it the whole time. <laughs> I just figured it doesn't make much of a difference yet, you know? I mean, I could have one point of armor from wearing clothes, but with the blue bacoblins... <laughs> but perhaps that is not true of everyone. <laughs> The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine is all connected to the Sheikah Switch you carry on your hip there. It has been quite some time since I had seen that Sheikah Switch. Long ago, a blah blah blah. Okay, three more shrines on the plateau. More shrines elsewhere. Hmm. Now this is funny, because he wants me to go onto the tower to see the next shrine, but you can literally see one from here. Oh, wait, I can't get to that one. Never mind. Breaking down? That means the mic is breaking down. Should I drop it on his head? No, that would be very mean. More arrows. Do 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 do. Gonna get the treasure chest. Do 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 do. Got some amber. A rock named Amber. Do 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 do. -do. Gonna get another treasure chest. Do -do 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 -do. Gonna bust these things up too. Do -do -do -do. Did it just not break? Oh, what? Really, guys? You're not gonna break this time? Ah! There. Man. Just can't get a good metal box to break these days. I have arrows. So my favorite hobby is accidental tree climbing. Whoops. Korok! 
You're not us two. Alright, who's ready for some boring, just walking around exploring stuff in general? Yeah? Are you hyped for that? Andrew, I love it. You're so encouraging. I'm totally gonna do boring exploring stuff. arrows do not do much, huh? Oh, he's recovering! I forgot about the recovery. Oh my gosh, and it's fast. That recovery. That is horrible. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Well, that was terrible. shield out my face. Hmm, this is a bad idea, wasn't it? The answer is yes. This is a terrible, no good, very bad, awful idea. Oh, hi. Hmm. Whoa! Whoa! Feisty little guy, huh? Nine arrows. You guys gonna throw rocks at me? Really? Okay, I see a stick. That's good. Let's play a flower game. Flower game, flower game. Yeah. You can play in the rain. Good to see you, Hedekus. Thanks for stopping by. Ooh, that was a Lucky shot, lucky shot. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna cool it with the arrows for a minute. Which is good. That's good. <laughs> I didn't need to ask for tips. <laughs> Gonna mark the pot on the map, because that's something I do.
Yeah, I think I like to mark some of the mini bosses and mostly the, the campfires. What am I doing? I agree, the whole idea of marking your own map for stuff is wonderfully immersive. Okay. Did I pick up enough extra stuff that I feel like I can take these guys on? When do they fall asleep? Oh yeah, Koroks, I did that too. Here's a question, do they just not fall asleep in hard mode? Could that be a thing? Oh, that was... Well, stick time. This went all kinds of wrong. Hmm. And he's already all healed up. Did you see how fast that was? Just getting my arrow. Excuse me. Oh, hey. I do need to stealth more, that is true. I got impatient. Testing my boundaries. In the least safe ways. Meanwhile, I'll just become a mushroom collector. It's a collector of mushrooms. And herbs. Why not? You guys enjoy your campfire for now, because I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, really? One of you pops up there of all places? Oh, wow! I didn't know that they could light on fire. That's kind of hilarious. Clearly doesn't seem to mind, but still hilarious. It's like really sailing those over my head, huh? Oh, no weapon equipped. Total beginner's move. Really? This is it? Huh. Alright, change of plans. Nope. You don't get your head back yet.
Go away. Oh, they do not seem to mind the fire nearly as much as I was hoping they would. Oh, come on, stay on the bar. So the explosion, I don't think, affected any of them. Hmm. Let's think about this. I really didn't want to quite, like, legit fight all of them. Scenery moment. Oh, whoops. There it is. <laughs> Lost track of where, you know, land was. That's not real important, right? Go away. Silly keys. You know, I would prefer to have the war before I go for that one. That's probably not the way to go. Probably not. Not yet.
Oh, whoops. It's another thing I do sometimes is accidentally hit my scope at the worst time. Alright, well, it was fun hanging out with you guys. See ya! Bye! <laughs> Alright, how many of those are there? That's... I want to fight them. It's just not a good idea yet. Four bows, though, right? Hmm, okay. New rule avoid combat altogether. Don't even try, not even for practice. We've learned our lesson. <laughs> I just wanted to see the red loading screen, why I did that. Alright. So tempting. I had already forgotten how much the Great Plateau varies in altitude. I can't just jump down there, you know? So forgive my backtracking. to do. Naked Link on the run. They said, young man, put some clothes on. He said, no. Oh, yeah, that hurt. Oh, my leg's broken. Better eat something. Sounds good, Andrew. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Apple time. Do 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 do. Apple time. I'm gonna get you, lizard! No, I'm not. <laughs> no, that wasn't true. I agree, Vader. Like, it's definitely an adjustment to only have three hearts. And not have the parasail. That's the crazy part, really. Pretty sure I just walked past like three Koroks. Or as my wife calls them, Clorox. Say hi to the old man again, just for kicks. 
Hmm. What you hunting, old man? I didn't mean to even... Okay, sorry. Excuse me. Oh boy. Oh goodness. Is there just one of you? What do I have? Um... Okay. We can make this work. Who needs two torches? Anyway. Is not dropping his weapon. That's more like it. That was foolish and silly. Just the way we like it. See you, Vader, if I didn't say goodbye already. Oh, man, another one? Let's make this jump again. This is so wild playing without like, you know, any weapon you want or any look at that bows. Bows I have. That's actually kinda of funny because I thought finding bows would be the hard part. I thought that was gonna be difficult. <laughs> Clearly not the issue. Amber. Okay, this could get interesting. Yeah, definitely uh, not going to play this game. Nope, not going to play that game today. Not <laughs> going to happen. Alright, see ya. The best, most necessary shrine in the game. The bomb shrine. Oh, why am I seeing? Just a really good mood. And yes, I use the term singing loosely. Alright, now is when the game really begins, when you get the bombs. Because I use bombs a lot for everything. I think some of my audio issues earlier were indeed just from having the game a little too loud and the mic a little bit too close to the game. Not that it's great, but it's encouraging to know that it might just be a matter of finding a balance. Okay. 
Now I'm in my comfort zone. Using bombs all the time for everything. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Boom! The mystical ball. Oh, is that not what you're supposed to do? You can't hold it? Hmm. Suppose that makes sense. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not even sure why I need that. Why do I need that? I'm just realizing here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. It's been that long. Yeah, Valerie, the good news is if you like the shrines in this game, there's a lot of them. Alright, think, Eric, think. What are we missing? Where is the magical... That glowing ball is supposed to go into... You know what, we're not going to worry about it. Because we have the bombs. We're getting the ancient orb. It'll bother me a little bit, but you can always come back. The magic of quick travel. The sphere. Now I can really play, like actually play, having bombs. Oh, I'm happy. This is good. It makes collecting things easier, it makes combat easier, especially at this point in the game. That's such good design, having that shrine visible from here. Even if personally I don't want to make that journey yet. Get screwed up. Oh boy. Did I just run out of stamina? That's like the worst possible spot to uh, run out of <laughs> st <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, Okay. I suppose get a little more seriously.
If I were... Oh, they regenerate. That's right. So you can't do this anymore. Like you can't sit there and just bomb him until he dies. That is... Oh, man. That health regeneration is something else. That's crazy. Valerie, what you missed was uh, these enemies, they lock on you with a red dot. Then they fire a laser that kills you in one shot. And I'm not used to having so little stamina, so I tried to run away. Ran out of stamina, didn't make it to cover in time, and got blown. It was uh, not pretty, it was very silly, very silly. Let's not fall off this time either. Bosk with the skillful use of whatever you call twitch emojis. You know what? I don't like I don't like this really strong enemy right here. That's that's just that's just no no good, no fun. Oh boy, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Get behind a rock, get behind a rock, get behind a rock. Ha <laughs> ha totally didn't see me. Don't mind me. Oh, you don't know about the lasers? Yeah, totally lasers in this game. The story is a wonderful blend of sci-fi and fantasy. Alright, let's see if we can do blue bacoblins a little easier now that we have bombs. Let's just see. Maybe not. Do we have any weapons? Do we have... We have a club. Our club is good. Knocked you out of the sky, son. Oh, that shield is annoying. Oh, did I accidentally kick my own bomb? I did. And his health is regenerating. That's that's good. That's really good, you know. Good for him, being so healthy. That regeneration is terrible for bombs, because, you know, they take the time and stuff. That's a fun still shot right there. See ya! Alright. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna shoot me with arrows, huh? You wanna play that game? Try me. Shoot him in a place where I can get him. Oh, you did. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Stand right there for me. There we go. Claymore it is. I keep knocking them off. I'm not trying to do that. But that's okay. Can't carry any more bows. Oh, and then we'll get rid of the one that's about to break. So is the Breath of the Wild Way. I don't have any just plain clubs or sticks. I wouldn't mind having some sticks. <laughs> okay, nice bite of that guy. Oh, goodness. Okay, do these trees create sticks? Yep. Bombs are by far the most efficient way to harvest apples. Want them purple shrooms. Just to up my inventory of stuff I actually know the name of. This is a good little area, good part of the game here. Ah. Nice to get a new decent weapon. Of course.
Nothing, nothing, okay. Ooh, two shields. Yo. Big deal now. Hello, sir. I think this is where he tells you about the recipe, right? Right? Yeah? Uh, maybe not. I know there's that journal inside. Go through every option and say goodbye. And get another torch. Oh, now it tells me I can throw stuff? That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, spicy pepper, a good thing to get. Spicy meat and seafood. Fry. Okay, so for those who don't know, if you make him this spicy meat and seafood fry, he gives you something that lets you survive the cold temperatures that you need to be able to do for one of the shrines. First time playing through the game, it's actually like a puzzle to figure out, oh, what's the missing ingredient, you know? But now I think I might actually have all the ingredients. And if he's right there, I might be able to get the warm doublet right now. If it's bass, I think it's pepper, bass, raw meat, I think? Let's see. Do I remember this correctly? Holy crap, I remembered. That's funny. I cooked something. It is spicy meat and seafood fry. Excellent. Alright, now the game has begun to move. We have cold resistance. I'll go ahead and wear some pants. The naked run is over. We have a few metal weapons, all kinds of bows, two shields. We're stocking up on food, and we have bombs. We are playing Breath of the Wild. We are catching fireflies. That's what we're doing. Let's switch to uh, an axe. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have attacked them while they were sleeping. They're about to wake up, though. At least I think they are. Maybe I have a terrible sense of time. But... I had no idea he would give it to you at the Mount Highland. That's funny. Oh, this will be interesting. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, because he doesn't die anymore from it. Okay. Uh, you know what? No. Let's, let's pitchfork him. Once it lets me. Here we go. It's pitchforking time. Get forked! 
One down. And that's the last of my fork. Someone is shooting at me. Let's go all out. Where'd he go? Where's... Okay. Oh, actually, like, hitting me with stuff? Lame. Okay, I'm, I think I'm about to be... Yep. <laughs> uh, and lit on fire. Okay. Back to the drawing board on that one. Hmm. Okay, so it really wants me to kill these guys. I mean, it's... I'll try one or two more times to take them all out. I'm not gonna like be too obsessed about it, but it would be nice to start collecting these chests. So the problem is, even the sneak strike, you just didn't do much. Just didn't do much. Granted, I did have the axe when I did it. The sneak strike with the claymore kill him. And yes, I am going to sneak all the way down. Oh, who did that? Who? What the? Really? You? It was you? Did you just... You little... Yeah, that's right. Taking you out first this time. You didn't notice me last time. Random cricket. And now the question is, will they go back to sleep? Zelda rocks, thanks for the heads up. They can see you from farther away. That is... That is going to be a pain, isn't it? Okay, well two of them are asleep. One of them is still restless. One of them's like, yeah, I... This one drinks some coffee before... Are you, really? You're really coming up? Okay, okay. Come up here then. I'm down. Let's do this. Okay, or go back to sleep. That's cool too. How quickly will he go back to sleep? It's gotta be pretty fast. Yeah. I really hope the sneak strike kills him with the claymore, that's all I'm going to say. Yes! Yes! <laughs> This is this is good news right here. This is that is that is oh that is nice. Oh that's good stuff. Yes, sir. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Not sure why I just went down that ladder the polite way, but so be it. Can't carry any more weapons. That either. It's been a while. So that a million times. Well, excuse me, bees, but you are guarding the treasure that will belong to me shortly. Did I just pull myself up? I did. It's a little careless, even for me. Good grief. Forgot to take my bomb safety course. Woo! 
Good, good, good. Delightful. Not sure I can make that climb yet. It's time to cross the gap. So I know like the game kind of wants you to axe these trees down, but I'm just going to go ahead and bomb it and ultra paranoidly save. I agree with the you could spend 24 hour, 24, 20 hours exploring the plateau. I know my first playthrough I spent 8 or 9 hours on the plateau before I left. Oh, here's my question. Okay, now I was going to ask if my claymore was even, like, damaged, but apparently not. Then again, is there any reason to kill these guys? They're in the way. Sneaking up on people, killing them in their sleep. You know what? This guy. We can just bomb him off. See ya. Bye bye. Lots of apples. Um, a whole lot of apples, good grief. Alright, let's put the claymore away for a little while. That is about to break. It's, it's all clubbing. Tommy Septic and Space Captain Zemo! Nice! Treasure chest. We got fire arrows, bomb arrows. We're getting somewhere. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Background, huh? Yeah, background. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Totally. I appreciate it, Zemo. You know, Valerie, it's funny you mentioned butter and cinnamon. That's all I'm gonna say. To you at this moment. This is why people tune in to gameplay streams right here. Climbing. Nothing but climbing. Endless climbing. Incessant, constant climbing. All the time. <clears throat> it's under. <laughs> Mr. Matthias, I commend your positive attitude. Rock climbing, you'll get caught up in the rock climbing. Rock climbing! Rock climbing! 
by the tone. Yeah, it's dangerous to use the jump. What I usually do is, like, when it's at a sliver of red, that's when I'll jump, but otherwise I really try not to. Well, that was the shortest possible. That's nice. We actually avoided a lot of stuff by doing that. I didn't realize the shrine was right there. <laughs> oh, I got lucky. That was luck. All luck. Okay. Stasis trial. Stasis? Stasis? Totally a word. Yeah, the loading screen is like the most intense thing about <laughs> the differences so far. That and the health regeneration, that's... that's whew. Oh, I see the Triforce. I didn't even notice. That's... Yeah, thanks for the heads up. That's pretty cool. Doo -doo -doo! That actually might be a little lower than I wanted. That's okay. Pretty okay. Oh, that's right, it has to reload. I forgot, I forgot, I'm sorry, I forgot. It has to recharge. I forgot. I forgot. It has to recharge. Shows you how much I use this rune compared to the bombs. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, but it did save. Okay, I see. I see what happened. Okay, let's actually let it recharge this time. Hi, Glitch Bum. I am definitely enjoying it. Um. It's been very encouraging to know that yes, it's harder, but it's not impossible. I have beaten some enemies, and I have bomb room now, and I have some metal weapons, and I'm making progress, so. Yeah, it's good. Definitely. I kind of want to do a stealth kill with the hammer now, because that would be hilarious in my opinion. That should do. feel like... yeah. I want to get the treasure chest. Should have gotten it first, of course, but... See ya, Joshua. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your anime. A new kind of shield.
See you, Zemo. Thanks for stopping by. Love that orb. Do 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 to do. Love. Well, that's uh, three shrines down. That's, that's pretty nice, actually. Is he okay? What a question. Get out of here! Which one? I have not checked out the Trial of the Sword. Um, did not mean to open quite yet. I think what I'll do is I'm going to play just the normal master mode until I get like tired of it at a good stopping point, and then I'll try the Trial of the Sword as kind of a refreshing break. That's the theory, anyway. We'll see how that works. Yes, Valerie, the stasis power is weird, and I have not really mastered it myself. Um, you can kinda use it to freeze enemies, but otherwise it's just an excuse to put Koroks in weird places, I think. Maybe there's a cool way to use it, but I don't know. Oh, look at that. I could totally use another sledgehammer. I don't need two axes. This will be fun because we have bomb arrows. And so many Bacomlet encampments. I guess we could just try pushing rocks on top of them. We could try that. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it killed one instantly. That's pretty good. Didn't mean to fall. Okay. He's almost dead. That was kind of a grotesque death he had. He just kind of leaned against the rock and died peacefully. You know what? I think I will limit my encampment killings to ones that are actually guarding a treasure chest. I don't really need to get more of their monster part. Just a fault. But this tree here, this absolutely has to die. That's not an option. That just has to go, you know? I mean, there's no question there. 
It's just necessary. Man's gotta get his wood. I didn't even mean for that to sound dirty. That's the truly sad thing. Climbing up to the top of a snowy mountain. Do enemies do that to solve? Oh, they do not damage you. When the enemies die, they kind of poof away. That is correct, but they do not damage you. You can safely stand next to them. In fact, some of the enemies explode in spectacular fashion when you kill them. And I am a little obsessed with taking pictures while I am standing in the midst of that explosion. I, I will take the screenshot. So definitely does not hurt you. <laughs> it's funny taking note of the game's design and how it obviously leads you places, but I, I truly do not remember what's up here, even though I know I've been here before. It's kind of a fun new sense of discovery, in a way. Ah. Hmm. All right, one more shrine. We're doing it. As long as we don't die on the way down, which we might do that too. Okay, where's the other rock for this rock circle? Other rock! Where are you? There's the other rock. Zelda rocks, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if you got that, you really need it. It's always fun in the early game when you can see so many towers at once. Like, I see five or six of them in frame right now. All of those areas still to explore. Oh, we actually have to kill this one. We're going to do a manual save. Honestly, though, I will just be happy to bomb them off the cliff and get them out of the way. Valerie, um, for what it's worth, you'll find out a little bit more about the leaf face guys later. Not that it's even when you do, but... Uh, okay, we're just gonna run. We're just gonna take the strategy of running. It's, it's I'm a Zelda master. That's why we are running right now. Away from the enemies. To the Kirchnavut Shrine. K. Mammoth. Oh, the seeds, yes, they are collectibles, but the seeds are how you unlock more inventory slot. So they, they are kind of important, actually. The enemy is still chasing me. Right, all four shines in about two hours. That's, that's not too bad, right? No, that's not too bad. I don't think so. Yes, you do have to get the inventory slots. 
I haven't written about it yet, but... Some people are annoyed by the weapon degradation and how the weapons break. I am much more annoyed by not having as many inventory slots and how they handle that. Because even though you can expand your inventory, it's not like a straightforward... How? Um, on my first playthrough, I actually missed the guy you talked to to unlock that. And some people are like, how do you miss him? And I'm like, the whole point of the game is you can travel anywhere. So even though he's on one of the walking paths, I simply did not use the walking path. So I'm in danger of ranting about it, but I'll just leave it at that. I actually like Cryonis or Cryonis, whatever. I'm obsessed with pronunciations today. I like it because it actually has an obvious use when you're at lakes and things. You missed him too? I'm not the only one? Is it just me or these guys faster in this mode? I think they're faster. I'm gonna hammer them. Once it lets me. Here we go. Ooh, a shaft! Oh, the Skulltulas. Ha, <laughs> yes. Maybe so. Oh, how do we get that treasure chest? Some of the shrine treasure chests are tricky. It's nice to know this one's not. Glitch bum, you are more patient than me. Cause yeah, I I took the same I did the same thing. I took the mountains to Kakariko, but what happened to me was I was probably similar for the first time, like thirty hours in. But then once I found him the first time and I learned like you have to find him again, then I was like, no no no, I just Googled it. I was like, I'm not I'm not gonna travel the whole world just to find him three times. Like, I just not a fan of that whole because I contrast the way this game handles inventory with the way a game like Resident Evil 4 handles inventory. And it's just, it's night and day. And it's just, it's, it's, like, I don't... I don't want to rant all day about it, but... I just think it could have been a little bit better. They were going for their own thing, I get that. Ultimately, I still really like the game. Inventory, man. I like organizing it and having it and having access to it. Okay, that's the four shrines. Sweet. If you're not able to upgrade your inventory, and then you start getting to points in the game, you're getting all kinds of different weapons and things, it's, it is annoying. It's just, it's, yeah. Once you expand your inventory, you know, it's fine, but. Oh! Oh! He says. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Quicker way to drop weapons would be nice. I would also, the thing I want while we're like dreaming and saying things we would prefer in the game, I would like to set like custom sets of armor. Like instead of equipping and re-equipping them all the, all the time, like all three pieces, I would love to say like, I'm going to select this, this, and this, and that's going to be my primary adventuring set. Oh, I forgot. Cold water hurts. Forgot, forgot, forgot. Okay. And then like, you pick the three climbing pieces, and you're like, this is my climbing set, and you can equip it with one tap rather than going through three different things. Battles. I probably should cook some. But until then. I just tap A when I need to drop one. feel like killing these guys? I have an idea. Hello! Follow me! Oh shoot, where did he go? Way up there? I meant to explode him into the water. That is not quite the water, young man, or young bacoblin. Excuse me, so rude, trying to kill me right now. Who do you think you are? Alright, my plan did not work. New plan. Run like heck. Valerie, you can open boxes in all sorts of creative positions in this Zelda game. That would have been a bad drop to take. You can open boxes when they're lying on their side. Okay. Let's go get our paraglider and learn the old man's big secret. Sup, Frozen Keys? Ooh, I did not time that correctly. Oops. Hey, look, he's pinned. Did you see that? He's totally stuck in the end of. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Valerie, you are silly. Okay, can the bomb regenerate quick enough for me to do this? Yes, it can! Hooray! It is good to keep one leaf on him. Yes, I'm trading the axe for a leaf. Does it make sense to anyone else? Maybe not. Maybe not. If I had my Paris, it'd be easy. I'm gonna try that way down there. Ah, more frozen keys. Just what I wanted. Hello! 
Gotta get yo jelly. How many frozen keys are over here? I mean, really. Oh, shoot. Still touched it. Did not mean to touch it. Really? Yes, he's on a floating thing, but not in the air. That's interesting. <laughs> I did say earlier that I wanted some tree branches. Ooh, a strong bow with a durability bonus? Oh, we gotta have that. <clears throat> a bow designed for armed conflict. That is quite the phrase. Okay, I see the Korok thing. The question is, can I get it and not die? Also, funny note. Not sure I have this one in my main game. I don't remember there being one under the bridge like this. Well, that was very dumb. Very dumb. Thank you, Zelda Rocks, for the inside info. You know what? I bet you're supposed to take the raft down there? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> right. We are going to... Mark the map with a leaf. We will come back another day. It's not ideal at all. Okay. That's not a frozen one. That's nice. That's a nice touch. <clears throat> oh, using the metal platform for the Korok? That is a smart idea. Like an idea that like a smart person would use. smart idea that maybe I'll try another time. Hi guys, excuse me. Back to bombs. Speaking of temptations, let's go ahead and see if we can take these guys out. Oh, we still have bomb arrows! <laughs> oops. And by oops, I mean not at all oops. Ow! You really have to hit me with that? That hurts, dude. Really should cook some stuff. Really should. There's a cooking pot, like, right there. Oh, that worked out really well. Excuse me, could you go ahead and... Thank you. Perfect. That worked out A-OK. -okay. Mm -hmm. 
Let's make some apple stuff. Apple stuff is even stronger than we need. Let's see, if you cook three, is that like a nice three heart thing? <clears throat> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Nice arrow drops. That's good. All kinds of amber. Okay. Oh, that was that was that was much worse than I would have ever. <laughs> huh. we'll go ahead and try one of our. So, <clears throat> Valerie, your question about the amber. Um, there's different minerals you can get, and you can sell them at a decent price, or there are opportunities to use them to upgrade your armor pieces. You'll, there's, there's a whole upgrade system that uses lots of different kinds of items. So I think those are the primary two things. That, that's what I do anyway. I mean, you can kind of use recipes, like, uh, you can find rock salt all that you can actually use with meat and things. Um, some of the minerals are also elemental, but again, that's it's still just for, like, when you're crafting. Or upgrading armor stuff, which is good. Oh, they just had to wake up, didn't they? Had to wake up. <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful game. Look at this. So nice. Oh, we haven't encountered a blood moon yet, have we? So that means the sword has not regenerated. So I was being teased earlier about missing the Korok. I'm going to go ahead and get it now. Oh, Star Fragments, yeah. I had one Star Fragment that just happened to be in just the right kind of spot where it was tough enough to get to that I just I didn't get there in time. <laughs> I felt so dumb. Look at the light on the water. I love it. I'm still a little enamored with this game, even so far in. Okay, the pots have regenerated. That's kind of interesting to me. Although, not that I don't have anything, maybe. Oh, look! Our statue lady is glowing now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure how many star fragments I have. I think I have like four or five, maybe? Uh, 
Okay, um... I know I want to alternate. Go heart, stamina, heart, stamina. I think we'll start with hearts. he says. He wants me to meet him quickly. So where does he go? In the most accessible place he can. He couldn't meet me like there. Come here quickly he says as he goes to this part I have to finagle myself into. Come quickly he says as he climbs on top of a building. That's where you meet people, right? Hey, wanna have lunch sometime? Sure, where? You know. The, the, the roof. Please forgive my occasional pans around as I try and make all my stream viewers experience intense nausea at the same time. A ladder to the top of the temple? What? Hey Valerie, are you paying attention? Fun story part. One of the few. The time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. <gasps> I was the last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Dun dun dun. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. Mm. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. 
One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. What a jerk. The Champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the Kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Yes. And just like that, the whole world opens up. No big deal. <coughs>
More bows! Okay, let's see here. I climbed up here before ever having that interaction. And this was the first Korak I found. I just felt the need to explore every inch of the Temple of Time. I showed my nieces and nephews this game, and they loved just flying around, just gliding like this. <laughs> oh, this is a terrible place to do this. Oops. Let's uh, veer over here. As tempted as I am to screw around and just do various exploring things, I think for this playthrough I am just going to go ahead and go to Kakariko and then maybe explore a little bit from there, but we'll see. Also, my wife will be home any minute. The nature of her job means it could be in the next five minutes, it could be a half hour from now. But in any case, when that happens, I will abruptly stop. It is nothing personal. So many orange towers tempting, oh, like even a shrine. This is so fun, it's been so long since like... <laughs> I've played and been able to see so many bits of orange in the distance at once. Is that something? Please. No? Just an improvised weapon. It's a Korok. I'm not sure I found that one in my main save file either. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay, well, uh, here we go. You know what, Glitchbum? I've actually been wondering that too. Like, what is there in the DLC that nobody knows about yet? Because like, having a Lionel in the opening area, that's already a surprise to some, but I... Oh, there has to be, right? 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 Yeah? <laughs> Of course, as I try and talk about, hey, we'll just straightforward go to Kakariko. That's just not how this game works. You see something, you want to go see it. You want to go get there. Alright, ooh! Our first lack of a cobwin. I really don't think that would be a good idea to interfere with. You guys can have your party. I'm just gonna take some of your stuff and leave. That's okay. Cool. 
good addition. See ya. <laughs> 300 more cards, that's fun. <laughs> More enemies on the bridge this time around. That's fun. As I blow half the stuff into the lake. Oh, wow! Okay. Okay, so they just shot me with bomb arrows. That's... Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> good, good to know. Under them. Interesting that's loading all of the DLC side quests now for the master mode. I just have to sprint across the bridge. Because that was also very silly. He's about to see me. Maybe the bridge just isn't what the way to go. Maybe that's the whole secret here. One more time, let's try. <laughs> Dang it! To be clear though, this is fun. This is a whole new dynamic, these floating snipers. Like, I'm not even sure, like, if I take out two Octoroks, will it come down? Like, how's that work exactly? Okay. Aim at me. Come on. Aim at me. Here we go. Oh, no, it <laughs> did not sprint fast enough. <laughs> one more time. We'll try it one more time. I only just now concretely figured out what I want to do. Now, just to execute. Start running right away. Here we go. There we go. Okay. What's up? Was it use was it worth it to use two bomb arrows? I don't know. Oops. Even the lizards are going to be upgraded too. That's right. I mean, of course, but I just wasn't thinking about it. Yep. On my main playthrough, I didn't really like even fight these guys. I just used the bomb and shot them off the bridge. Let's see if we can repeat that strategy. I get the feeling it's going to go sideways here. Let's see what happens. Yep. 
One down. Where is the other one? There he is. Okay. Not quite off the bridge. There we are. See ya. Oh shoot. You didn't quite make it off either. That was a preemptive see ya. A false see ya. An overconfident see ya. Now we're starting to get some real weapons. Kinda. <laughs> oh, I do want a wooden weapon though. Hey, Fixie! Yeah, we uh, did the four shrines. I mean, here we are. Out in the world. You know what? I will keep the Zora Spear equipped. We're gonna make it to that tower. We're gonna do it. Actually, before we do the tower, should we do... Yeah, let's do some other stuff. You know, while it's raining. <clears throat> okay, I don't really want to mess with you. Might have to, but I don't want to. I almost drowned there. Man, that regenerating health, I am not used to that. That is intense. My goodness. I didn't think it would be so quick. So fast. Oh, wow, that was... I did not see him. Poor judgment on my part. Shrine! Yanaga! You have to be careful with that one. Sounds good, Fixie. So I'm not sure how meaningful of a milestone it is, but today my... Twitch channel passed 1,000 total views. Yay for round numbers. <laughs> Someday I'll get to Kakariko, you just watch. I'm totally just doing the shrine as like a safeguard to quick travel here because it's on the way. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, you know.
So I have weird memories of this one because I didn't know that the bomb went into the soul shoot thing. I know that sounds idiotic, but it's true. I uh, had to figure out a different way to do it. Then again, it's got to be more complicated than this, too. Do I have any bomb arrows left? One. That's pretty cool. Really not sure how you're supposed to do that one. I don't know. <laughs> I only have four apples. Oh man. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Yikes. Glitch bomb, that's why I love this game. Like you, you can't just go anywhere. Like you have to go poke around and It'll be interesting to see, even on a second playthrough, how much I still feel the need to see everything and do everything and get all the crazy side stuff. Square bomb on block, round in the chute, okay. That makes perfect sense. Would you believe I did not know you could do two bombs at once? Like, I know you could, like, pick between them. How does that work? So you throw one on top for this one. You place that one. I had no idea you could do that. That is hilarious. I feel like an idiot. This whole time I've used them one at a time. But you're saying you can throw one. Switch. Oh my gosh! So you're, you can basically double your bomb power too. My mind is blown. I have played this game for 180 hours. I've beaten... I had no idea. You could do two bombs at once. That makes me wonder, like, how many different shrines have I been doing some really janky way? <laughs> because you're supposed to use two bombs. <laughs> I've seen... Yeah, like a, the shield jumps they do in the air. That's interesting stuff. Two bombs! Wow! Two bombs! I don't, I don't even... Yeah. Two bombs at the same time? You could have them both? Two bombs! Two bombs? Two bombs! Two bombs! Two- I- I'm just gonna stand here and be like, two bo two bombs? Two bombs! Two bombs? Two- Bombs! Two bombs at the same time? Double bombs? You can do two bombs once? Did 
Time to go fish bombing. Maybe not quite. Not quite fish bombing. Time to get back up on land. Two bombs? Two bombs? I just, I don't know. Oh, also, if you guys don't like the sight of animals getting bombed all the time, you uh, are not going to enjoy my feed. <laughs> Or stream or whatever the name of it is. Oh, that guy's close. Whoa, okay, yep. That was very, very bad. Very silly of me. Two bombs. Two bombs. Two bombs. That would be fun if the game kept track of your death count. I agree. That would be a fun feature. You know what else would be a fun feature? Two bombs at the same time. Imagine two bombs at the same time. By the way, I'm going to take the longest route possible. Just so everyone knows, the longest route... Oh, that was... that was... this is... You're off to a terrible start already. No, I'm not. I lied about the longest route possible. I'm just really paranoid about the uh, Lizolfos, but... It'd be worth it to figure out at least how to get around them. We can do this. Ow! Mm. I'm just not 100% sure these hills are climbing. Mean, they have to be climbable, right? Right? Gotta be. Gotta be. Bombs? Two bombs. Two bombs. Die. Just a little heads up. That's a flat spot over there, isn't it? Hold up. There we go. Two bombs?
Hmm. That's not encouraging. As obnoxious as this is, we're gonna redo the whole bridge. We got the shrine, I'm happy about that, but I'm not gonna play Lake and Hill all day. Yeah, okay. Much better. I can see the tower. It's right there. We're gonna get there. Could have taken the hill route, I guess. But it's not like we've gotten a blood moon, so I don't think the enemies will be there. I'm gonna like lose sleep tonight imagining ways I can use two bombs at once. Two bombs? Two bombs! Well, that's the. Huh? Excuse me, everyone. Call it now. If I get to the tower, that'll be a good stopping point. For a little Breath of the Wild quest. Aha! Uh -huh, they do regenerate. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh wait, there's a treasure chest on it. But the enemies aren't there. Now that's interesting. So the treasure chest goes... Bye-bye. Okay. Did I never kill this guy? Is that what happened? Oh, these guys are back. Lame. Hello, I wish you crossed the bridge. lucky. And finally, we are actually across the bridge. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Okay. I see the enemies. We're going to try and run by them. I will even manual save. Yes, sir. Alright, here goes nothing. A desperate climb towards the tower. 
Always a fun part of Breath of the Wild. Hi guys! Excuse me! The music in this game, I think, is pretty good, even if it is minimalist. Definitely creates its own atmosphere. And it's just solid. I expected this to be a lot more troublesome, but it is just true that you get used to little things like avoiding enemies that the first time I came to this time, probably it was super difficult. How fun. Oh, shoot, that was awful. <laughs> Won't be that impatient again. about just a little impatient. There we go. Just a little impatient. I think we're going to make it. Woohoo! That's one. Yeah, let's keep it on Shrine for a while.
Okay, so. We explored a little bit. We did not go directly towards Kakariko like I said I would at all. I just couldn't resist, you know? That's how it goes. So I imagine next time I play, maybe we'll just set out from there, maybe we'll come up here. I don't know. We'll see. That's part of the fun of this game. But I am going to stop right now. and That's chapter one. Got all four shrines out of the way. Great Plateau, I mean. Got the paraglider, parasail thing. I kind of want to go get that shrine right now. So much to do. So much yet to do. See you next time. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching.